Uh, this is my infrared sensor. On the left side, uh, we have the phototransistor, and the right side, there's the infrared emitter, infrared LED. This is my circuit for the infrared, and here I'm driving it with a with Arduino microcontroller. Here's the circuit schematic. Here's it. So, uh, so actually, this is this is the infrared emitter, and this is the infrared phototransistor. So in this schematic, people they use uh, uh, some something like a filter. I don't know what is it, but uh, to see what how this thing works, I remove this filter, and this is my circuit right there. Only one register, and that's it. So I connected the output with the oscilloscope that I'm running on my PC. So that's a trace from the oscilloscope. Actually, if we can see from the code here. So actually I'm turning the LED for 7 microseconds. And after 7 microseconds I'm turning off the LED. And then I was waiting for 100 microseconds. Then I'm going back to the beginning again. So that's the loop. So here we can see how the loop works. It's giving me a something like a signal that repeats itself. And here's the magic. If we cover the thing, the the sensor with something. So we are can actually um there is no light falling on it. Actually remove it. There is my room light. So let's see how it works in the oscilloscope. So actually uh now there is no shadow. Uh, now I'm putting on I'm putting the thing on top of my sensor and it shows that the signals the whole signal just comes down. So I remove it, it goes up. So now there is no room light. Actually shadow. It comes down and now it's light falling on, it goes up. The sh the shape of the signal is the same but it just the whole thing the shifted up and down so that's because uh, this is not cancelling the room light so that's why this is happening so actually I removed the filter to see how it you know how it gives the signal um, because of the room light